Hi, my name's Hannah, and in this demonstration, we'll show you how to use IPs from the Intel FPGA Video and Vision Processing Suite, along with video connectivity calls. Specifically, we'll explain how you can use standard video FPGA IP cores to create your own design for high quality scaling, along with frame rate, color space, and color format conversion for video streams with resolutions up to 8K. Intel FPGA Video and Vision Processing Suite is a collection of next-generation IP cores that you can use to develop custom video and image processing designs. These IPs are suitable for use in a wide variety of video processing and display applications, such as studio broadcast, video conferencing, AV networking, medical imaging, industrial and robotic systems, as well as smart city, retail and consumer analytics. These cores range from simple building block functions, such as clocked video and genlock, color space conversion and alpha blending, to sophisticated processing functions that can implement programmable scaling, arbitrary nonlinear distortion correction, 3D lookup table, adaptive tone mapping, and many more. I'm now going to hand you over to our in-house technical expert, Alexi, who will talk you through our demonstration. The design we are using for this demonstration exercises many Intel FPGA IP cores. For video interfacing, it uses HDMI 2.1, RX and TX cores to ingest and output the video stream. At the front end, there are bits per color sample and pixels in parallel adapters to reshape the signal for subsequent processing by the main pipeline. Video conditioning is implemented by chroma resampler, color space converter and the interlace IPs. Further modifications to the video stream, such as cropping and up and down scaling, are enabled by Clipper and Scalar IPs respectively. The main video frame buffer is used to perform frame rate conversion and finally, the Mixer IP Alpha Blend's input video stream with Intel logo and test patterns produced by the test pattern generator. The backend of the pipeline consists of similar preprocessing cores in reverse order. For the overall system control, we use NIOS 5 soft embedded processor. The main pipeline in this example design is configured to process 4 pixels in parallel at 600 MHz clock rate, thus supporting video resolutions of up to 8K at 60 frames per second. With its off-the-shelf video IP cores, the Intel FPGA Video and Vision Processing Suite enables the creation of custom video processing pipelines, high performance and low latency processing, resulting in a smooth design experience. All the IPs can be instantiated on every device available in Portus Pro design suite, such as Intel Cyclone 10GX, ARIA 10, Stratex 10 and Agilex FPGAs. In this demonstration, we have an Intel laptop streaming video over the HDMI interface to the Intel Agile X7 SoC development kit through Biotech HDMI 2.1 Dota card, which is connected via an FMC port. We also have an 8K TV and a laptop connected to the board via the JTAG interface to control and display design parameters via the terminal window. In the video processing pipeline configured on the Agile X7 i-series SoC dev kit, the video stream is ingested via an off-the-shelf Intel HDMI 2.1 RX IP core, which supports any resolution, frame rate or color space up to 8K60. Chroma resampling and color space conversion are used to precondition the video stream to a common RGB color format, and any interlaced video input is converted to progressive by the deinterlaced IP core. The video output, which is transmitted via the Intel HDMI 2.1 TX core, is maintained independently from the input and will display a black screen with the Intel Agile X7 logo even when no input is connected. A test pattern generator IP core is used to create the fixed black background and the mixer IP core overlays both the Intel Agile X7 icon and the input video stream when it is active. The main processing pipeline of the design contains a clipper, a downscaler, a frame buffer and an upscaler. The frame buffer is configured to drop and repeat frames as required to match the input and output frame rates and the scalers allow the output to run at different resolution than the input. 
The user can select the output resolution and frame rate using the DIP switches on the Agile X7 i-series SOC dev kit. The output can be configured for SD, Full HD, 4K or 8K resolutions. The user can select between 30fps and 60fps output and can opt for interlaced output in Full HD mode. The output data pass after the mixer contains a color space converter and chrome resampler and you can select to transmit the output as RGB or YCBCR with either 444, 422 or 420 chroma sampling. Both the HDMI input and output have hot plug support and the design will respond to any cable pulls and reconnections. When a display is connected to the HDMI output, the design will read and parse the display's edit to determine what display modes are supported. Information about newly connected display is printed in the terminal. If you select a resolution and or frame rate via the DIP switches that cannot be supported by the current display, then the design will fall back to a supported mode. The Intel HDMI 2.1 IP core supports up to FRL RAID 6 on Agilex devices, but you can link train to any lower rate required by the connected display and can drop to TMDS mode if needed. When a new video input is connected, the design queries the incoming resolution from the HDMI interface and configures the video pipeline as appropriate. By default, the design is configured to up or downscale the incoming video to fill the screen to match the selected output resolution. The design can upscale SD input to display at 8K resolution or downscale an 8K input to display at SD resolution or any combination in between. As with the output, the HDMI 2.1 IP core at the input supports any FRL rate up to rate 6 and can also receive TMDS input when required. The design has three display modes, pass-through mode, upscale mode, and downscale mode. In the pass-through mode, both the scalers are set to pass the incoming video unaltered. If the input resolution is larger than the output display resolution, then a suitably sized section of the input is cropped for display by Clipper IP core. If the output resolution is larger than the input, then the mixer IP core adds a black border around the input video. In the upscale mode, input video is upscaled to fill the selected output resolution. If the input resolution is smaller than the output resolution, then the appropriate upscale is simply applied. If the input is the same size or larger than the output, then the middle two-thirds of the input is cropped by the Clipper IP core and the result of this is scaled to fill the output. In the downscale mode, the input video is always downscaled to create the output. If the input is larger than the output, then the appropriate scaling is applied to the incoming video to fill the display. If the input resolution is smaller than the output, then a downscale ratio of 1.5 is applied and a black border is added by the mix IP core. As I mentioned before, when a new video is connected, the design selects the most appropriate mode resizing the input video to match the selected output resolution, without clipping or adding a black border. However, you can force the design to scroll through the three available modes by pressing the push button 1. In each case, the design will print the current settings for the IP cores in the pipeline in the terminal. You can also toggle the display of the Agile X7 icon by pressing the push button 0. This will turn the icon off and on. This design example is intended to show how the Intel HDMI 2.1 connectivity IP cores can be combined with the IP cores from the Video and Vision Processing IP suite to create a representative video format conversion system. The functionality and exposed controls of this example design reflect the input options on the development kit, such as push buttons and the dip switches. The constraint control option results in light and optimized application software, 
but do not necessarily allow the design to show its true potential and rich features. However, with few modifications to the control software, the video processing IP demonstrates such features as dynamic and arbitrary cropping of the input video, dynamic and arbitrary scaling of the input video, dynamic image zooming, dynamic positioning of video layers, and dynamic and arbitrary transparency. For more information about this design, please see its corresponding user guide. Intel Video Connectivity and Processing IP cores give you the ability to get to market fast with your state-of-the-art custom video products. These highly parameterizable IP cores provide push-button performance for your applications while still maintaining low FPGA resource usage and low latency. Start designing today by downloading our Intel Quarters Prime Design software, Intel Video Connectivity IP cores, as well as the Intel FPGA Video and Vision Processing IP suite and design examples into our modular Intel FPGA development kits. You can find more information from the links on the screen.